So guys, if you're using an AMD CPU, high chances are that you're not utilizing your CPU correctly or set up your overclock to utilize the best performance out of your Ryzen processor. You guys might have seen a lot of YouTubers talking about how Ryzen is overperforming in games and you guys are not getting that performance. It's because you haven't set these settings. So make sure to watch this video till the end. And with all that said, let's get started without wasting any time. Okay, so the first thing that is your AMD support, the driver and support page. This is where you have to download your Ryzen Master Utility as well as the latest chipsets for your AMD CPU. So for that, you have to download the Windows drivers over here on this page. You can find amd.com slash support. And once you're on this page, you have to look for Windows drivers and then simply download the Windows drivers. It will automatically update the chipsets for your BIOS and your CPU to utilize your AMD processor more smoothly. Next thing is the Ryzen Master. You'll also find a link for this down in the description below. This is a super useful utility for overclocking the control of your CPU that is installed on your PC. Now, if that is an AMD CPU, this is how you can easily do it with Ryzen Master. Well, before moving ahead, I would like to introduce you all to GVG Mall, a store which fulfills all your digital needs for games and gift cards in one place. GVG Mall has a wide variety of digital keys for games and in-game currency for multiple vendors, which is legit, reliable, and convenient. On the website, you can find a lot of categories where you can get Steam and Origin, as well as PC game gift cards and genuine Windows activation key. I however liked how convenient it is to get a genuine Windows key since I do not like the activate Windows watermark on my screen and to fix it I can literally get a Windows key for a huge discount. Generally you can get Windows 10 for 5378 but on this sale you can get it for 2175 and if you use my code FOX25 you can get additional 25% off at just 1631. And you also have Windows 11 update for free. And it is perfect time to get rid of that Windows activation mark. There are multi-bit payment methods which are convenient. And once you buy it, you will get an email within minutes. And using that code, you can activate your Windows in no time. So go check out GVG Mall. Links are in the description below. Once you open up the application, it should also give you a warning like this. That if your CPU gets damaged because of the overclocks, AMD will not take any responsibility for it. And your warranty might be void. Blah, blah, blah. This is all bullshit. You just have to click on OK. Just because I'm going to be showing you guys how you can safely overclock your CPU. Now first things first over here on the basic view is the temperature that you have to take a note of. If your CPU is not overclocked that means your mode and curve optimizer are set to the default and off values and your temperature is anywhere above 65 degrees. I highly recommend you guys not to do this overclocking because it will take your temperatures above 80 degrees and it will be really really harmful for your CPU and in case it will also damage the processor. You have to make sure to take a good airflow in your PC, use a liquid cooler, an AIO or a good quality airflow on your desktop because poor airflow will lead to heating and heating will lead to the damage of the product. Now once again, once you have your temperature under control that is below 60 degrees, you are more than capable of overclocking your CPU very very safely. Now on the profile section, if you guys want to quickly overclock without thinking, what you can do is set this thing to auto OC and then the curve optimizer mode over here if you guys are gaming set this thing to all cores because games utilizes all of your cores simultaneously and setting it to all cores will ultimately give you better performance however if you're performing graphics and rendering processes on your pc then you have to click on per core because not all cores are utilized in rendering and only some of the cores are more important and in that case all core will not help us so for that you have to select per core so according to your utility i personally use the processor for gaming so i'll set to all cores and simply start optimizing now before doing that you have to close all of your processes in the background because this is going to impact your pc and simply click on ok right now i'm recording so i have to click on cancel okay so this is what your pc is gonna look with basic overclocking but let's say you want to overclock a little bit more in depth what you can do is simply go over to the advanced view on the bottom left section of your screen and now we move on to the advanced overclocking now in the ryzen master you will find a ton of the pre-installed or you can say it comes with a lot of presets 
presets according to your CPU. Now I have a creator mode that is for graphics and rendering. Then I have a game mode dedicated for game optimization. Then these are two profiles that we have created in our previous videos. Now do not worry, you will have three of them you have the curve optimizer the game mode and the creator mode now if you guys use your pc for gaming more than often you have to select the game mode and make sure that simultaneous multi-threading and legacy compatibility mode both of them is turned on you can simply click on the on button and it should look like this in the green symbol this is super super important because it is going to be affecting your pc's performance drastically next thing is the voltage control and, and over here you cannot set your voltage control according to you unless you click on the manual button and then you can change every single value right over here but setting this to manual comes with a lot of responsibilities because you have to do error testing as well so if you guys want to do a simple overclock that will help you to keep your pc safe and prevent it from crashing i highly recommend you guys to go with precision boost overdrive this is the best overclock by far it has the best settings if you are playing if you are rendering everything precision boost overdrive covers it now over here you have to make sure that both of them are included as well as your additional control you have enabled simultaneous multi-threading and legacy compatibility mode once it is done you will also find your memory control you will see that this is excluded so you have to click on included right over here and once you set this thing to included you have to set the coupled mode to on as well so your memory clock and your fabric clock works on the same way now how you have to do the memory clock over here so basically you have to set this value to somewhere around 1500 to begin with and then you have to keep increasing it and play a game or you can just simply apply and test every single time and it will start applying the stress test now i can set this thing to 1900 and that will give me the best performance so 1900 it is and once it is done i have to simply click on apply and test and after that i have to click on ok because that will be closing all of my processes and it will going to restart my pc in safe mode just in case if these settings fail your pc does not die so that is how you can do your memory cloak otherwise if you guys do not want to mess up with the memory cloak you can simply click on this once again and set this thing to excluded and you can simply save this profile on your pc and apply and test do not simply click on apply because it is going to directly apply the settings without running any stress test and it is going to damage your processor if in case you are going to apply this real time simply select apply and test and if that test passes then only apply these settings on your pc otherwise revert them back to normal now I will show you how you can actually set your processor speed as well as your memory control correctly using another application. For that you have to simply download my AMD CPU optimization pack. I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below. The first one will include your AMD CPU priority. You need to run this in order to utilize Ryzen master correctly on your PC. Now this value will set your processor priority to the maximum level. Next is the processor related registries. These are all optional but all of them will help you to somewhere increase the overall performance of your PC. It will disable background apps, power throttling, transparency, unnecessary service services page file at shutdown improve system responsiveness and thread priority so if you guys want to run all of them you are free to do so simply double click to run all of them the most important part is the quick cpu application which i was talking about to set our cpu and our memory in order you have to run and install quick cpu on your pc now once this application opens up the interface looks pretty complicated but Trust me, it's really, really simple. First things first over here, you'll find three of these signal towers. What you have to do is select the third one, which is max performance and simply click on yes. It will start utilizing the best system power plan and the best core parking. If the core parking is set to 0%, you have to make sure to put all of them to 100% and simply click on apply. This will reduce your core parking. That means your system will not by default turn off the cores which are not in use and it will utilize all of your cores equally for better performance. Right after that, you have to click on the memory data section and then you'll open up the system memory part. Now over here, you have to click on configure and make sure to turn on auto clean memory, enable all three of these options and then clean when usage is above 60%. Simply click on yes, then click on clean. Now 
this will improve your memory usage and it will also improve your in-game performance whenever you are using this application so whenever you're playing the game i highly recommend you guys to keep this application running in the background it will keep a high look and high priority on your processor and memory and this is also really really useful in changing your pc's priority and to set this thing you have to go over to options and then you have to select start application on system startup this will help you to boot this application whenever your pc starts so you do not have to do it every time manually this will keep running and you are going to get better performance in game and better quality of gameplay in your ryzen cpu so guys that was it for this video i hope i could have helped you out if i could have made sure to do leave a like and smash the subscribe button do let me know how well this worked out for you also i have released channel membership on the channel so if you guys are not a channel member yet do do support the channel by getting a subscription it really helps me out a lot we'll see you in another amazing video until then stay tuned keep watching bear fox and peace out